Hey everybody, I'd like to introduce you to my next tutorial. It's medical drone modeling, hard surface with Maya. Uh, it's over 20 hours long. I go through every step from start to finish building this hard surface model. And here I've included one of the chapters for free for my tutorial. So check it out. And if you like it, go to gumroad.com slash Dabney and you can buy the tutorial. Thanks. Hi guys, so I want to go over some of the tools on the droid shelf that comes with the tutorial. Uh, we'll start with the first one. Uh, this is select non-quads, so anything that's not a four-sided polygon will be selected, so a triangle or an n-gon. So this helps you cl uh, quickly find out like what's not a quad, just so you can clean your mesh up. There's also a find tries, and there's a find n-gon. And the find non-quads is great when you, if you just put on a hockey. So you can just quickly find non quads. Um, I have a live bool script. So you pick your mesh, pick the object you want to cut it with, and you run it. And you can actually go into the group and hide it. And it's still live. So you can scale it up, move it. And then when you're finished, you want to commit to it, you just delete your history. That's pretty cool. Um, there's a pivot vert. So if the pivot of your object's here, but you want it up here, you can run this script, and then it puts the pivot wherever the vert is. This saves you from having to hit insert, hold V, like just a couple clicks, but it can really come in handy. I put that on a key too. Okay, so we're gonna try locking some verts. So pick your verts. We'll run lock verts. So now when you make a selection, the lock verts don't move. Which can, can come in handy for some organic modeling paths. And then when you finish, you can pick all the verts, unlock, and they're unlocked. We can do uh, chip off, which is, say you want to break this in two halves. By default, Maya has this extract. But if you look in the outliner, it makes a group, has an empty transform node, it's just, a, it's just messy. So with this script, chip off, it just makes two halves. It's way easier to work with. Um, X mirror will mirror across the X axis. It freezes it, resets the transformations and mirrors it. So if your pivot's somewhere weird, it's still going to work. This is very handy. Um, find center. So you want to find the exact center of this mesh, you run this, and it places a locator at the center. Then that way, maybe you want to snap another object to it, you hold V, snap to the locator. Uh, cut faces, this will pop up the older cut faces tool that Maya has, uh, that's now kind of hidden. So. I find it a little bit faster than the new multi-cut delete option. And then you just enter cut close, so then you can delete faces off of there. Um, so let's say this have elaborate one shaders on them. If you run blend, it'll put a blend on, instead of having to go make a blend. And then this Lambert one, will put Lambert one. And I have Lambert one on a key, control L, because I use that a lot. Uh, time slider button just gives you some more real estate on your screen. A lot of times, if you're modeling, you don't need the animation timeline, so just quick way. Um, selection highlighting. So these objects are selected, they just don't show up selected. So also that's a great one to put on a key. Wireframe unshaded. X-ray. Again, I have those on keys too. Um, Toggle back face color. Just gives you a cleaner mesh. And snap X, that would be. So this red line is the center axis, right? Normally you have to grab these, hold X, click this axis, and drag it there to snap it. Or you can run snap X. And you can mirror. Also, I've got a marking menu with combine, so it combines and it does a merge vert all in one, just save you a little time. So we have bridge, this is good for 
It's just a bridge with zero divisions. Just good for filling holes. Uh, flow loop. So if your mesh is da damaged, um, you can double click, shift right click, edit edge flow. That's it's a lot of clicking, so with this flow loop, you just pick one edge, it will convert to edge loop and run edit edge flow. So you can then you can hit G. So you can really quickly run it on your model. It comes in handy with organic modeling. And deselect all is just a way to deselect when you're in component mode. So you run that and it just deselects your model. And then deselect grab will go from component mode and grab the object. So this is handy if let's say you're just you're in component mode, you're doing an edit, you can put that on key, deselect grab, and then duplicate. And then you can do your edits again, deselect grab, and then deselect. Doesn't seem like uh, that big of a deal at first, but it saves you from having to constantly go from vert, right click, object mode, and then click out, out here. It basically does it all in one step. Yeah. So that's it for the shelf. Hope you guys enjoy it.